Sorting your life might be difficult, but to sort an Excel sheet is a piece of cake. Hello and welcome to Excel in Excel. In this video, we are going to learn how to sort your data in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a column. So I want to sort this year from oldest to the newest. So how can I do that? I simply go to the data tab in the ribbon. In the sort and filter section, you would find the A to Z and Z to A. So A to Z would help you to sort from smallest to largest, lowest to highest and oldest to newest. Similarly, Z to A will help you to sort from largest to smallest, highest to lowest and newest to the oldest. Since we want to sort from oldest year to the newest year, we would click on A to Z. And that would get your data sorted from the oldest year to the newest year. Sorting was easy when you had only single column. What if you have multiple columns? So if you see here, we have two columns, the company name and the year in which the company was incorporated. So I want to sort and find out which was the oldest company that was incorporated. So I would simply select the cell. But before that, I have highlighted a row to know that if I sort this column, will this also be kept together? So let's see, I select a cell in the column that I want to sort and click on A to Z as I want to sort from oldest to newest. As I click, you can see the year of incorporation is sorted. Also, the respective attribute is kept together. That means when you sort the year of incorporation, along with the company name also gets sorted. Few important points you must note here is that if you have any empty columns or rows in between, so let's say if you have an empty row over here, then only the data above this will get sorted and the data below will remain unsorted. And if you select only particular range of cells and click on sorting, it would give you a warning stating Microsoft Excel found data next to your selection. Since you have not selected the this data, it will not be sorted. So what options you have is either you can expand your selection or continue with the current selection. It tells us that if you select a range of cells, then the data along with it won't get sorted. So I click on continue with current selection and click on sort and you can see the data gets separated over here and only the range which is selected gets sorted. So remember, you can either click on expand the selection if you want to keep the data together. So this is all about how to sort an Excel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for instant updates. See you in the next video.